Hi guys, Mick here. Hope you're all well. Okay, uh, this is the, uh, you're, you're new to this. I've uh, started making videos because what I need to explain takes a long time to write down and really no one has the patience to read it. I don't have the patience to write it. Plus, when I can just go through a load of websites, I, I can show it to you visually. So, um, this is the 15th video. Um, I have sent you a link to my YouTube channel for the others, some of which I will recommend you watch, some of them you can watch if you want, it's up to you. Okay, we're talking about Kate Villas and um, vlogs today, really, that's the main thing. Also, yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Um, okay, here's the Kate Villas site. We have just added this, the privacy policy, uh, which we needed to for ad roll to work. Um, and you can see it's, you know, that's, that's, that's just that. Okay. Um, let's have a look at, uh, some stats for Kate Villas and the other websites that I'm working on. Here we see Kate Villas has a trust flow of 41 and a citation flow of 30. Now, Majestic SEO and any of these tools for working out links are never perfect because they do not include various Google algorithms um, but they're you know they're, they're a good sign you know if, if one's doing well here with trust uh, it means you know you've got a trustworthy website the citation flow is the power of the website as long as you've got good trust generally you're okay um, let's have a look at the other websites Cape Town Luxury Villas trust higher than the citation but both of these are very low this uh, this indicates it's got very few links and is not very powerful. If we go to Villa Secrets, and I was actually very surprised to see this because um, Villa Secrets has only been uh, online for well, it's been a lot online a lot less time than Cape Town Luxury Villas, and we haven't promoted it in any way. Um, but it has a higher trust flow and citation flow than um, Cape uh, than. Cape Town Luxury Villas. If we have a look at Experience Africa, 21 and 21. Uh, if we have a look at uh, American Butterfly, high trust flow, low citation, there's very few people linking to this. Only two links. Oh, I think they're from Cape Villas. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go. It's in the history page. Okay, so you see what one link from Cape Villas can do. Uh, and um, that's, 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 that's useful for because what we're going to be trying to do is now improve these scores. Um, okay, when a, a part of this story is why we're doing what we're doing. Why are we doing these blogs? Why are we going into content marketing? Why did I ask you to contribute to content marketing? Why has my idea about what we need to do changed? When I made Cape Town Luxury Villas, as you know, it started like this. It was a complete copy of Cape Villas, but we put code on it so as it wasn't indexed by no it wasn't necessarily indexed it wouldn't show in any search engine and we worked it and worked it and worked it up until the point where sorry it looked like this and um, you know it was com completely different apart from some of the content was the same now we got away with this because as soon as we uh, here's some stats on how this is doing as soon as we launched Cape Town Luxury Videos i.e. as soon as we took away that code, the uh, robots don't follow, and it pretty much went like this with, within a short period of time, and it's never really rose or gone down, um, you know, for Cape Town Villas keywords, it's been about number 14, it was as high as number 6 when we had the link from Cape Villas, but I took that down and it, and it dropped, um, it's been at number 2 and number 1 for Cape Town Luxury Villas, and we can see it's Germany doing a little bit better in Yahoo. This is Yahoo. This is Bing than it is in Google. Um, let's have a look at uh, Cape Villas, and you can see I monitor our competitors as well. Let's have a look at that. We're looking at uh, net, Cape Villas Collection. Uh, we should be looking at Knox, but um, I, I can only actually put in 10 on this 
uh, in this software unless I upgrade. Okay, if we look at Kate Villas, um, it's been great that we've gone up to number one here in Cam's Bay Villas. I'm really happy with that. I don't know actually how that happened. <laughs> you know, um, but that's good news. But here, Cape Town Villas, there, we're at the number 12. You know, we used to be at number three, and we are at number three in Bing and Yahoo. And I thought it was because we had some bad links, so I did a link audit via um, link research tool. It took me quite a, quite a bash to do, and uh, it didn't make any difference. It didn't make the slightest bit of difference. Um, so, I spoke to a nice guy called Sasha there, who's helping me out. And he said, look, you know, the link audit's one thing, but, you know, you've got to get some more links in. Um, so, you know, that's, that's what the content writing is about. There's a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of research has gone into content marketing, which is the art of writing good content, syndicating it, so that it gets seen in a lot of places. And some people will link back to you, which is what I originally started to do it for, for search engine optimization. But, um, you know, the real bonus is in that people will see it and people will come to the website and people might book. It's, you know, it's more like you've got to send out a hundred, maybe a thousand um, articles to get one reply. Whereas with Google AdWords, you know, you, you put out 10 ads and you get, you know, one. So it's, it's you have to do a lot more of it. But, um, you know, that's, that, that's, that's the game. And I'm going to be showing you how... We can make one single blog get shown to many, many people. Okay, let's. Uh, I, I please excuse the fact that I don't really know where I'm going. I made these links earlier, so we are going in this path. But when I get to some of them, I'm uh, not. I'm going to have to do a little bit of catch up. Okay, we're looking at Villa Secrets now, and that's that's because um, if we look in here, Villa Secrets, despite them having a uh, us, I say it's not them, it's us. Despite us having a higher trust flow and higher citation than um, Cape Town Luxury Villas, when it comes to the search engines, it was really bad and it still is. Uh, and this is the last 90 days. We finally managed to get in the t in, into Google when I first took the code away. It was, you know, it wasn't even here. We did start to do quite well in Yahoo and Bing. Um, and we got on the front page of a few, but uh, it dropped down again. It, it did well when we made that cell phone website. It suddenly started doing a lot better, but because we haven't done anything since then, it's, you know, it's, well, we've gone up in Google, but we've gone down in Yahoo and Bing. I suppose, you know, better to be going up in Google, but these numbers, 40, you know, that's, that's, there's no traffic coming from them, you know. I've looked at specialist keywords like Cape Town, Villas, Six star Camps Bay, and we, we sort of crawl up onto the first page there. But, um, you know, a lot needs to be done. Now, why is because, you know, there's very little difference between this site and this site, other than this site has a lot of razor villas on it that we can access online. Um, and you know, there's one thing is that Google knows that this is my site and I've done it again because I put my name on it and it's on the same server. You know, if you, if you look up the, the who is, who owns it, same person owns Kate Villas, same person owns Kate Chan Luxury Villas, same person owns this. And there's a lot of people sort of, you know, doing duplicate websites, you know, hoping they're going to... I think it worked with Cape Town Luxury Villas because we were putting content up there they had only been put up there once before and they sort of put for Google probably thought they're just making a new website because their old website isn't mobile friendly and you know we'll let them you know they probably got an algorithm that says if you copy all the content from one original website to another once you know they're not going to hit you with a penalty but if you do it again and come up with a load of content that all the razor content you know all this, all 351 pages, where is it? Oh no, all I'm doing there is turning it off. Uh, I have to hit search. All this content, all these razor villas, this has been seen, you know, on many, many websites. 
You know, everyone that's gone to Razor takes the information off Razor, copy it, paste it onto their website. So when Villa Secrets opened its doors, you know, it had 197 villas that had already been shown on Cape Town Luxury Villas and on Cape Villas. And it had 300 villas that have been shown on loads and loads of websites. So I think Google just thought, no, we're, you've got nothing new to add, even though we had a superior search. But it doesn't know that. It, it can't work that out. Um, also, there's no discernible traffic going to it. So, you know, anyway, let's carry on. Why am I look? Why am I looking at this page? Ah, okay. So this is the back end. Back end, never really. But this is the CMS, the content management suite for um, a bit of secrets. And um, you can see here, this is a, a, a Clifton Dream. This is actually the Pentagon. No, yes, this is the Pentagon on Cape Town on Villa Secrets. And you can see what we're doing here is. We're, we're making it so as there's a general description, which is the first one which comes from Razor. Then we've got a different description for Cape Villa Secrets, as we have for Cape Town Luxury Villas, as we have for you. And the idea was, when we made your new website, Villas Cape Villas 2, you wouldn't suddenly be flooding Google with a load of duplicate content from Razor. You would be showing them a load of content on your primary pages, the first pages that are linked to that, you know, was new and fresh. Um, so, you know, that was the plan. And <clears throat> we've looked at, um, we've made some nice content here. Here's uh, Oceana Villa. This is an example I used um, on Cape Town Top 10 Villas, as you, you know, you, you like the look of it, and I'm very thankful for your kind words. Um, I wouldn't say it took us a long time to do because it actually didn't take us hardly any time to do. We could, we did this very, very quickly, but it took us a long time to learn how to do it in the first place. Um, anyway, here's a blog. This is how blogs look. They look great. Um, and what I did is I got all this text that uh, our copywriter put in, and she's she's a great copywriter. She's 15 years experience as a journalist and has an English literature degree. Um, read through it, it's great, she only did that, only took her four hours, and we put it into this, when it loads, I'm having terrible trouble with my computer, um, this is the plagiarism checker, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to show you exactly, but I basically took, sorry, this content that uh, was written, and it was written based on the Razor description, all the girl had to do, what to, to work from was the razor description which was very minimal and these pictures and she's written around the pictures on the basis of the description and made it sound nice in a journalistic kind of way we put it in here plagiarism checker and it was i think it was 95 percent pure perfect and you know that's gonna that's gonna that's exactly as it should be because it's you know it was a, a improved version of a writer um but then what i did was i I took these ones here where what's what I've asked her to do here when we make three is to sort of make one description and just sort of change the words around a bit so as uh, it would seem as if it was three different descriptions. But I checked it in this tool, Copyscape, and it, it showed us it was 50% copied. Now, whether Google has the capacity to the processing power to do it the same way that Copyscape did, i.e. you have an initial page and you have a second page and you check them against each other, I don't know. But, you know, it's got a bad feeling about it all over the place and it's not enjoyable for the, um, for the copywriter, it's not enjoyable for me. And really, I think what we need to do is, for each page that we do for Cape Villas and Villa Secrets, uh, we need to make original articles you know, like this. She's got to start from the beginning, you know, maybe change a few pictures and rewrite this completely for um, for, for Kate Villas, not just try and, you know, change a few of the keywords around, hoping we're going to get past Google. We're going to do it the right way and always make good blogs, good, good copy. And, you know, 
I think you know that, that's that's the way to do it because it's it's not. I don't think it's going to work doing it the other way. It's just going to, you know, it, we, we're not coming up with great quality. And the idea, if we need to come up with great quality, if we're to be considered in any way competent at content marketing. Okay, let's carry on. We've seen this. We've seen this. Ah, here we go. So we've seen this website, have we? Um, no, we haven't actually. We've been... hmm. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to load it up from new. I'm sort of. I know you guys have seen this, but if anyone else watches this video, they won't have seen this. So I need to to throw it in there. So as uh, come on, maybe. My computer hates me. It's not. It's not the the hosting. It's the computer. It's just. It's. It's really bad. Never ever buy an HP computer. Okay, so we've seen this website that I've made, or uh, in the process of making, and um, what I've done for now is because I I'm not sure about my top ten. I've got a I've got I need to get good images for each of the top ten. I've only got good images for three of them. I'm not currently inclined to speak to all the owners about it until I've got a marketing package that I'm working on. Um, so, for now, what I've just done is I've just dropped the whole website into Villa Secrets, and it's Villa Secrets blog. And to my, at the moment, it's as, it's the the website. Google can't find this; it's not linked, so we're not going to have any duplicate content problems. And actually, the original site here. Um, has code on it that says Google do not follow, do not index this site. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of these pages here and just leaving it with the blog and then linking it back to other pages on Villa Secrets. Uh, and then we're going to start blogging from it. What I'm also going to do is exactly the same thing for Cape Villas. But uh, instead for Cape Villas of trying to link the navigation that you see here into the uh, Villa Secrets navigation and make it all part of one website, it's going to be a, a completely different website within Cape Villas. And we'll keep a lot of these categories. Uh, we, we won't keep judges because it's going to be your choice of the top 10 that you have. Um, we'll certainly have Villas and we'll have these Villa pages. Um, we're going to make it so as each page is a blog um, there'll be a blog, suggest a villa, why not, services, we're going to keep these in there and what we're doing here is people can either pay to be in it or they can link to us and we'll put them a little ad in there um, about, you know, so and I, I, a lot of websites are doing this. If we look at um, this website, West Elm, who are one of the most successful furniture companies in the world. Here's their website, and you can see it's you know got navigation as per normal. But if we go to the blog, and I have to try and find it, here it is. You can see. Look, you can see this is this is the computer. Sorry, we can see here the blog is completely different. There's no links to the West Elm products. You know, the only link to West Elm is to click on the logo. And you get back to their website. So, and this is this is quite common. A lot of websites are now doing this. They're making blogs as a, a website within a website. What we're going to do on uh, and uh, let's just imagine this says Kate Villa's blog, and here it's got the Kate Villa's logo and this homepage. I'm not sure. I think the home page will stay as the blog home page because what we can do if we have a page like this, um, have a look at it on mobile. 
you know, that looks a hell of a lot better than the current Kate Villa's homepage. So we can direct, we can put code on the homepage if a mobile phone from Kate Villa's homepage looks at uh, Kate Villa's homepage, it will redirect to the Kate Villa's blog page. So you've got a nice you know, so it at least works, and Google will, will give give a bonus for that as well, because it currently it's giving warnings that we're not mobile friendly, albeit it's probably giving warnings to every single Cape Town site that was built less than three years ago. The same thing. Um. Okay, here's some YouTube videos. You're going to be number 15. I think I'm just going to call it 15 Dash Cape Villas. Um, this is a good one to watch, and I'll give you the link. Blog Auto Syndication for West Elm, which was the company we just looked at. Um, Maison Noir Introduction is well worth a look at, as is Maison Noir Mega Blog. Um, and the sites, the sites, I mean, you know, there's other videos here that you can watch if you want. You know, they're all relevant. Uh, but uh, what we're talking about specifically, the blog and the blog syndication of it, the best ones to look at are Auto Syndication for West Elm and Maison Noir Mega Blog. But I'm going to explain it for you right now. Here we go. Okay, this is the first blog I made, and it was just simple. I just wrote a little bit of text and I copied what was made on the homepage, the homepage slider. So it's a quite a nice looking blog. Um, I put my name there and I put a link back to the page so as when it gets syndicated number one by putting my name there it lets Google know that this is an original so whoever writes the blog will put their name there if Chrissy our copywriter it'll be by Chrissy if um, you guys want to write a blog you know if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're up for it um, and I, I, I'm very happy for you to do so you would just put your names for it um, and uh, you know that's the blog let's have a look at the engine behind this blog and this is the interesting thing it's not about making a blog it's about who sees that blog and one way that we can really get it out there quite a lot and really improve our social networks is called auto syndication this is this is uh, WordPress it's very easy to use you just grab a grab a, a page item and then you sort of look inside there and if you want to throw pictures in if you want to put text you put text if you want to throw if you want to make a slider you put a slider then you put the stuff in don't worry too much about that uh here's it you know but here's some text and here's that layer slider now it gets interesting here's the seo by yoast at the moment we're using their free version and this tells us how to improve the search engine optimization for each blog it's saying here we don't have a lot of keyword focus um, but to be honest with you, I haven't put a lot of, uh, we, this, there's code all over this website saying Google don't look at it anyway, so it's, it's not relevant at the moment. Here's the interesting thing. Already, when this page goes out, or any blog goes out, it gets published on Blogger. It gets published on Delicious. Both of these give links back. No, I don't know about Blogger. Delicious is a do follow link that means the link passes link juice and when we put this blog on delicious it will put a link it will it will see this link here and it that will be on the page on delicious and it'll link back to um <coughs> to the blog and you know it's easy enough to also throw in a a, a, a link to the cake village home page why not or maybe put that at the bottom so we're getting a link from here, from Delicious. Facebook, we're making lots of different pages. Here's a page we just made for the developers. So the developers can put their blogs on their page. So when it gets uh, posted, um, it goes to, the, goes to that Facebook page. Here's Top 10 Cape Town Villas page on Facebook, another business page. Pentagon Villa Cape Town page, another villa, another page on Facebook. Luxury Villas in Clifton, and what I'll do as soon as um, we're actually doing this properly is put a sort of one dollar per day um, like campaign specifically for people who like the word villas. So as the the, the the business pages are getting a little bit of momentum each day, they get more more shares, and it means these pages will actually get get seen by people. 
Here we see it also goes on my profile page. Here we see it goes to Flickr. Here we see it go to Google Plus, top 10 developers page, top 10 Cape Town Villas page, top 20 Villa web designers. And Google Plus is, is awesome because I've noticed that in the top 10 of certain searches are the Cape Town Luxury Villas Google Plus pages. And that was with no original content. That was just, they just took the content from one villa, uploaded some pictures. Actually, I think Caitlin did it. And uh, those, uh, you know, that's that's providing, those pages are getting seen on, on the top 10 of Google searches. Um, LinkedIn as well. We've only got auto-published to one, and that, I think, is my personal LinkedIn account. Um, but, again, this is only the start. We really, for Kate Villas, we want, and, you know, I want each of you to, to make about maybe four pages each using different keywords, different names of villas. Um, and, you know, ideally, I'd like some of your friends to, uh, to make pages as well so we can bounce to them. Because if we bounce to too many of the same account, I, I think it's, um, it, it'll, it'll get noticed. If it goes to lots of different accounts, lots of people's different accounts, lots of different business pages, it's not going to interfere with them because it's not going on their main account. It's only a business page. But, um, yeah, you know, it, it'll, it'll help us because we're getting it syndicated more. And they're not all going to go out at the same time. Some will go out after an hour. Some will go out after a day. Some will go out after a month. And um, we'll make it so as once a post is published on Facebook, every week that pub post is republished. So, you know, if we get to maybe 25 Facebook pages from the blog, all using different keywords as their... Um, and obviously, you know, because we're regularly posting pages to these, these pages will become important in Facebook. So if someone looks up Luxury Villas in Clifton, for instance, on Facebook, they'll first come to the Luxury Villas in Clifton page. On that page will be a load of awesome blogs about Villas in Clifton. You know, if people are using Facebook, they'll, they're going to find us that way. So there's, you know, there's hundreds of reasons why this is a good, good idea. It takes a little while to set up for our programmers. Um, and obviously we, we will need to um, have put your cell phone numbers, so as the cell phone numbers go to you guys, you guys let us know what the codes are. I've been doing this, this with Ryan already, he knows all about it. So, you know, we're going to try and, you know, hit maybe 25 um, Facebook pages. We want to try and hit 25 Google Plus pages and about 25 LinkedIn pages, um, plus all these other where are they? Live journal. That's a do follow. So when we publish to that, we get a link back that is counted. Perk, we get a link back that's counted. Pin interest. I don't think that I think they're not follow links, but when I did the site audit for Kate Villas, Google had indexed a lot of uh, pin interest pages. So Google definitely counts pin interest links. So, you know, each blog we do is a new pin interest. And, you know, maybe it makes sense to have four or five different pin interest accounts um, under different names. Each of you have a pin interest account. Reddit, uh, that's that's awesome. It's a social bookmarking account. So if you do a good blog, uh, if you get judged on how good your blog is, not how popular you are. It goes out there a few times. And I'd imagine that if you continually do good blogs on Reddit, you'll get a better reputation. Stumble upon exactly the same thing. Very powerful. Tumblr much the same we all know about twitter um it's you know all we can do with twitter at the moment is put the uh, the headline of the blog out there and a picture but that's you know it's going to catch some people's eyes and if you know if you if you wanted to work the twitter there's no way to make a twitter business page as far as i know other than to make a twitter account as a business it's uh, really a case of it, it goes on personal people's twitter accounts um and this is a Russian one, you know. And, uh, okay, so there we're seeing how we're going to do about, you know, 25 Facebook, 25 LinkedIn, 25 Google+, Plus, and about 10 other social bookmarking sites. That will all get uh, posted to each time we make a blog. There are also ways for us to syndicate this to other blogs, and we're looking at that now. So you can probably add another 100 blogs we'll auto-syndicate to as well. 
So each time we do a blog, you know, we're hitting a hundred social network and social bookmarking pages and about a hundred blogs. Um, and then people might share it. And some people, you know, it's, it's interesting stuff that we're doing, gorgeous pictures of villas. People like that. Um, so, you know, and on top, we obviously, we get very powerful social networking accounts that um, will work at, within themselves. There are a lot of reasons to do that. As you will read from... Um, Sorry, as you will watch from Mazon Noir Megablog, I should have probably shown you the spreadsheet, but um, basically the idea there is we, we, we add to that by going on some paid blog networks. This is the most powerful. They're called Best of the Web, and as far as I can tell, they'll give a, about a page rank five. Do follow link to Kate Villas, which will be more powerful than any link that it's ever got. It's expensive. 149 for a year or 299 all time and you know one sort of wants to go all time but fortunately i've i've spoken to these guys and told them i really want to use them a lot and i think if i buy 10 of these at a time they said they'll give me it at half price and if i buy an awful lot they said they could get it down a lot more um my idea isn't you know i'm, I'm not making this a condition of doing your blog i'm just suggesting that it's the best way to do it is that you know we, we try and find some money to put on this blog and uh, there's some other ones here um, what I'd say what, what I'll offer is I say for now you know as it's a testing ground whatever money you can put in I'll match so if it costs us 150 for this blog you put in $75 I'll put in $75 and we'll we'll, we'll put the blog out there we'll blog in about the homepage of uh, the Kate Villas blog for sure. Um, where would that be? That's is it? No. Well, let's have a look. The homepage, you know, it's just the top 10 of the blog. This is how the top 10 blog page will look. You know. That's it. We'll probably use the more interesting slider with the nice HTML effects. Um, but that'll be it. It'll be the Kate Villa's top 10. And that's interesting, you know. Putting the words top 10 in, at the beginning of a blog. Top 10 Villas. Kate, top 10 Villas by Kate Villas. You know, people are... Uh, got a, you know, that, that's got a fair chance of being read. Especially if you're interested in Villas. And, um, you know, it's going to improve these scores here trust flow and citation flow not sorry your one 41 30 we're going to be improving those even though it's not going directly to the Kate Villa's homepage all the a lot of the syndicated blogs will be I'm saying this blog if we pay for blogs I don't think we should do them to the Kate Villa's homepage because I don't think uh, it's not a blog um, we should do it to the homepage and some individual blog pages, you know, especially if, you know, we can try and get some deals with owners to, to I've got my marketing package that I'll do at 10% um, for owners. You guys try and get some owners, say, look, you know, you're going to add on 10% for each booking and maybe 5% for management. I don't know, you know, you, you can try and work that. I'll provide the 10% tool, um, but that's not really what this is about. Um, this is about the Kate Villas blog. Um, so, you know, we're going to try and do whatever we can to, to improve this blog. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm a little bit jaded with Villas and PHP. I've been trying to you know, make, uh, where is it, where is it, yeah, I've been trying to make this Villa Secrets website great for a long time, you know, we're now working on how to make it look the same as WordPress, and we can do it, it's just going to take a long time, and I, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit jaded, and I need a break from Villa websites and PHP, I just, uh, I need a break from it, that's, so it's going to hold Villa. I, I want to work on this. I love this. This is something that I'm really passionate about. 
I think I can I think I can make this work if I do it correctly. Um, it's uh, basically the concept is when uh, which uh, like Ulusaba gives us 25 or 30 percent, um, and 10 percent of that would go into marketing in the way that we've just seen. So as it gets gets out there, 15 percent will go to uh, conservation. I'm going to look at uh, these guys first. Save the Rhino. They seem to be very well respected in a lot of people's books, including Prince William. Sorry, Prince Harry. Um, and uh, let's have a look at it. Experience Africa. Conservation. Rhino. Uh, the Rhino Awards, they came in at number one. That's where I found them. And it was reinforced by an article from Prince Harry. I'm going to try and get these guys to uh, to get involved and introduce us to these guys to become a Clinton Foundation ambassador. You'd think it would be kind of easy because we could potentially make a ridiculous amount of money from Experience Africa if we've got a message that if you book through us, you 20% uh, goes to conservation. If you book direct, nothing goes to the conservation and you'll pay the same money. But um, that's, that's the worry is that the safaris won't let me do this. I think if I came to the safaris now, I think if I went to Ulusaba, they'd probably be okay with it. But I'd say half of the top 10 safaris would say, no, um, we're not happy with you doing this. Um, maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't. But if I go this route first, try to put a good proposal to these guys so they know I'm serious, and then get these guys involved, and then we go to the safaris, there's no way they're going to say no. So I'm going to really try and get these guys, the Clinton Foundation, to, uh, to work with us. I did write a book about Experience Africa and the Clinton Foundation. It was American Butterfly Book 4. Uh, three years ago and um, that's how that's just gonna be my in is American butterfly at the moment yeah you know American butterfly is all about the work I did when I was spiritually connected with Sienna um, and for a long time recently I thought it was a load of rubbish and I was crazy but now it, it's all starting to link in and it's it's working at the moment. It's just a you know a, a business page, but I'm going to change it to uh, just that just the message which is called "Give Half Back," which is what all of uh, American Butterfly was built around. I'm not going to get into it because it's going to be a lot easier when I can put it onto this website and show people the message and how I have worked on it and made economic equations and have some, some rather startling math about it. So this is just loading. Here's the first book. Uh, it's very detailed. There's another four books that are not online. I'm a bit worried that someone's going to copy this and put it on their own website and claim it as their own material as far as Google is concerned. Uh, so I haven't put the other books online. Um, Okay, anyway, um, trying to remember why we're here. I think it's just, you know, me reiterating I want to do this. So, WordPress and, um, and making these uh, WordPress websites, these top 10 websites for villas, that does excite me. I love working in WordPress. I love making, you know, beautiful pages. Uh, it really excites me. It gets the guys love it, and we can do it so quickly. So I'm happy to do that. So I just want to break from Villa Secrets and programming Villa Secrets. Uh, we're still going to carry on working on it, but it's not going to be my full attention. And I'm going to be focusing on Experience Africa, uh, American Butterfly, and the blog sites for Villa Secrets and Cape Villas. And this is probably going to take about two months. So what I'm saying is, you know, Cape Villas version 2 and Villa Secrets, you know, let's not advertise uh, Villa Secrets now. 
let's let's do that in January. It makes more sense because you know that's that's a it's that's when you you're more likely to make a sale. Um, let me let me do my passion, experience Africa and uh, American butterfly. Let's make these blogs and let's work together to to make these blogs by putting this blog site on Kate Villers. It means when we change from Kate Villers version one to version two, it won't be so drastic because the blog site where a lot of the new links are coming and a lot of the fresh content that Google's looking at will still be there. It's just the the background site has changed. Um, so you know, it, it, it's really the best way. This idea I had of where is it? Oh, gosh, of having these 50 different Kate Villas pages under Kate Villas and then when putting it all down all at once and hoping that Google, you know, sees the fresh content and doesn't ignore that, doesn't pay much attention to the old content due to the fact that we'll have not linked it in the first in a row and we'll have changed the XML priority uh, in the sitemap is not anywhere near as good as us making this blog now which can have instant effects we can start you know it'll immediately improve our social networks it'll improve the Kate Villas links in it'll improve traffic you know it'll improve everything and when we make the change from Kate Villas version 1 to Kate Villas version 2 it won't be so drastic because the blog will still be in its place okay um was there anything else no these links are just links that I've shown you. Okay, um, I'm going to call this a wrap and put it into um, uh, Adobe software for making movies that I'm trying to learn because for American Butterfly, I want to make a really nice movie. And I'm going to try and find a little soundtrack to go underneath it. You guys have a great day. Thanks for being so, uh, so awesome you know this year so far I think since we you know since 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 May it's just been on on the way up Kate Villas is moving in the right direction you know I wanted to get the website but I didn't want to mess it up so we haven't got that yet but we're gonna do this blog and we're gonna put that on there next week and we're gonna start working on the social networks um, immediately and we're gonna start putting blogs up chances are the first blog we do without that, that anybody sees all be on Kate Villas the the pages that you see the top 10 pages they'll probably go up on Kate Villas because that's where it can probably do the most good because Kate Villas already has a powerful trust flow and a citation um, and is already is a commercial website whereas Villa Secrets is not currently a commercial website right that's it I'm really gonna go hope you guys have a good day thank you Kate Villas